Okay, I'm going to explain how to install Python on a Windows machine. Um, I'm going to show you on Windows XP, though other versions of Windows are going to be fairly similar. The first thing you need to do is you need to find out what sort of OS you have, whether you have a 64-bit OS or a 32-bit OS. If you already know, fantastic. If not, under XP, if you click on the Start menu and Settings Control Panel and then choose System, You'll get a window like this and inside of the system area it'll tell you 64 somewhere if you have 64 if it doesn't say 64 you're probably pretty good you don't have 64 you want to go for the 32 okay so now you want to go to the www.python.org site click on download skip the alternative implementations and you want to look at what it recommends you download. In here it says, if you don't know which version to use, start with Python 2.7 for me today. So that's what I'm going to do. And you need to pick your Windows installer, which one you want. Um, I'm going to choose the 2.7.2 Windows installer. It says Windows binary. It doesn't say for 64-bit OSs because I don't have a 64-bit OS. You may want to choose this one. So let's click on that. I like to save the files. I'll save it in my downloads and I'll come back in a minute when the downloads done okay now that my downloads done I'm gonna click on run uh -huh, I should have told you hopefully you're watching this um, I didn't want to close this dialog box when download completes so I'll say run do you want to run the software yes please and I get a message about installing so select whether to install 272 for all users. I'll do it for all users. I'll put it in Python 2.7. I'm just going to take all of the defaults, click on next a bunch. I'll pause for a minute so you don't have to watch this bit. Okay, once you're done, just click finish. Terrific. Now, if you want to try it out, the easiest thing you can do is go to the Start menu and under Program, select Python 2.7, or whichever one you downloaded, and choose the idle Python GUI. And that'll bring up this Python shell. Your fonts won't be as big as mine. And then you can just test it by trying to do some math. Let's say what's 5 plus 2 plus 1, and hit Enter, and we get 8. So, looks good. We installed Python. Nice job.